Now, World Health Organization Ghana Director, Dr. Magda Robala, Robala rather, has called for intensification of public education on the Ebola virus, but was unsure when the outbreak will be brought under control. She was speaking during uh, the BBC's Africa debate here in Accra. And this, has in, this is an insight into the debate we should expect later on today on the BBC. We have never had an Ebola outbreak in West Africa. We have never had an Ebola outbreak uh, which spread to three in now five countries at the same time. We have never had an Ebola outbreak that has affected so many people, killed so many people, particularly health So it has affected countries that unfortunately have very weak health systems. Countries that are emerging from many years of um, uh, civil unrest, countries that are battling with uh, many developmental problems. So that has made it extremely difficult for uh, Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone to come to grips to uh, the uh, Ebola outbreak. And uh, uh, it is difficult as we speak. It is still difficult for us to tell you uh, with certainty when we will be able to bring the outbreak to is it for the region? So we, we can talk about PPEs, personal protective equipment, as far as our, our fight against Ebola is concerned now. I'm joined over the telephone by the Deputy Ashanti Regional Health Director, Dr. Joseph Ojo. Dr. Ojo, you're welcome to my program. Thank you very much. Doc, let's talk about PPEs. How much of it do you have? The PPE. Mm. Uh, I can't tell you the number now. Mm. But definitely we know what we have is not adequate to go, to go around all the hospitals. Mm. So let, let, let's see. Scale of 1 to 10, where would you put adequate? Uh, is it? On a scale of 1 to 10, where would you yes. put not adequate enough? Oh, <laughs> maybe... Um, uh, no, if we take all the hospitals as a consideration, mm. we, we are no, uh, no, uh, nowhere near the, the quantity that we need. But the Ghana Health Service Ministry of Health, mm. we have some quantities which we are going to dis distribute among the region. Okay. I, 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 re I realize that you're not able to put a figure to the quantity, but we'll leave it at that. What is the plan for distribution of the limited PPEs no, yes, you have? No, no, after distribution, no. Because uh, if you want to give every hospital, every health center, okay, let's limit ourselves even to the hospitals. Mm. Now, Santi, uh, if we add the private hospitals, we are getting to over 100. So, Dr. Drew, uh, uh, Dr. Drew, yeah. let, wait, let, 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 let's, let's, let's understand. We, we, we'll, get to, we'll get to the hospitals that have and those that do not have. Mm -hmm. okay. But let's, let's underst understand your no. You say that you do not have enough to be yeah. able to go around all the hospitals and clinic in the Ashanti yeah. region. But you haven't been yeah. able to put a figure to it yet. That's fine. Um, the question uh, I'm asking... Uh, mm, Okay, 30 complete then, sets. Yes. I see. And you're giving some to uh, Konfarnasi. And, and you have over 100 hospitals alone in the Ashanti region. Yes. But you have only 30 sets. And mm -hmm. how many did you give to Konfarnasi? As I said, I, it's, it's a long time, so I can't remember. I see. And, 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 and that's, that's absolutely fine. What is the plan, really? As far as distribution is concerned, so that the limited number you have is well distributed. No. So, okay, if you have 30 pieces mm -hmm. and you have so many hospitals, how do, how do they distribute? So, if assuming that we have, if you have even 30 hospitals, each one will get one, one, one complete set. Mm -hmm. And that will not be, 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 be uh, I mean, enough for that particular facility. Mm. One set. So, one set. so, that is why we said that uh, we are keeping it at the region. As 
and when it's needed, you give it out. Uh -huh. uh, we have a, a team. Uh, you have a task force uh, at the, at the regional health directory. We also have a, a regional um, a rapid response team. Mm. Uh -huh. okay. So when you have a, a suspected case that you inform us, then we make an arrangement you know, to get to some of the PPEs. Because for now, if you want to distribute, um, how, how are you going to do it? It's, it's to nearly difficult. impossible to do that. <laughs> okay. Not, now let's uh, let's talk about this. The the task talk, force. I talked to the, the, the director in charge of surveillance. Okay. And he said they they are they are getting good. They are getting some quantities which are good to distribute all the region. Uh huh. And then uh, when they come, uh, we shall give them to the major some of the major hospitals to keep. Mm. Did did the head of did your head of surveillance tell you yeah. how many you should expect? No. Did he, no, he, did, he did he know, say he, when? He, he, he said that we should rather speak about the quantity that we need to them. So we are doing that. I see. So did he say when you would get them? Oh, no, he said they are, I think they are available at the at, they are not going to take, take them from the port for distribution. From the port? Yes. I see. Let, let's talk about your task force in the Ashanti region, a rapid re response team. What okay. exactly do they do? Is it? What, what exactly do these teams do? The team? Yeah, oh. the, the, the task force and the rapid response teams. Okay, the, the, the task force is uh, the, the, uh, a team that is mandated by the regional director to ensure that uh, all Ebola activities go on uh, uh, as settled in the, in the region. And so, you know, we meet every week uh, to discuss issues. The team is made up of um, the team for, uh, the staff of Ghana Health Service and Confederate Chicken uh, Hospital. Mm. So all the education that you are doing, all the communications, all the trainings, um, distribution of PPEs, they are done by the the, the mm. task force. But it looks and like then, it took it took you a it took you a while to get PPEs yeah. to the Domina CSDA Hospital. No, 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 no. I mean. Uh, as soon as they, they had the kid, they called us. Mm. And we made arrangements to send, them, send some to them. I see. So, mm. as it stands now, your district is, is awfully reliant on what the surveillance team here in Accra says. Yeah. We'll leave it here. Thank you very much, Dr. Odru. Dr. Joseph Odru is Deputy Director of Public Health at the Ashanti region. And, and so the conversation doesn't end here. We, we, we have just picked up that PPEs are still at the port. It is now that we would have to clear them so we can give hospitals. The whole of the Ashanti region had only 30 PPEs for over 100 hospitals, talk less of clinics. And so we'll continue this conversation with the head office here in Accra, where everything is centralized. Perhaps they are also waiting on port officials to clear it.